I'm a dropper and I gave my JMA, J advanced and board exams last year. And in all three, my chemistry was pretty poor or in, only in my board exams it was ordinary. Nothing extraordinary or anything to you know talk about. Okay, so September was the last time I'd actually studied chemistry because it was it was just too much for me. It was too boring and just too much mugging up. So my uh, February attempt was on 24th of Feb. So till the Jan 20th, I didn't do chemistry at all. From September till Jan 20th, I didn't do chemistry at all. I did only physics and mathematics during the entire three of three nearly four months of September end, October, November, December, and pretty much the first half of Jan. I completely lost interest in chemistry and I did only these two and you know tried to improve in these two. And my main focus was mainly on math during these four months because uh, during my September attempt, both in my J main and J year months, my lowest score was in math. Okay. And I used to be scared of math. The thing was, I was pretty well prepared even for my September attempt for math, but I just, I just couldn't replicate what I had learned to, in the exam. But just let's just leave math because this is a video about chemistry. Why did I fail in September attempt? It was because of procrastination. The last I did chemistry for my September attempt was during my board examinations. So when, as the J main got near, like my J main was in was on fourth September, okay. And from August, I you know I, I just thought I'll start doing chemistry, I'll start doing chemistry, I'll start doing chemistry, and I never started. There was only like one week left. Before one week, I started to do chemistry and you know started to mug up whatever was there. But that won't help. You cannot mug up chemistry in seven days, and you need a proper plan to do it. You can't, you know, cram everything in, in seven days. I remember my J main September was in the morning and I woke up at 3 and I was trying to, you know, mark up P-block elements and obviously it didn't work. It didn't work at all. I got, I got only 51 in chemistry in my September attempt and it was horrible. Now, what did I do to improve from the September attempt was this strategy which I made up and I had done it for just one month, the, just the last month as I told you. So now I'll tell you what I did during the first 10 days of my preparation or the first phase, you can call it, or the first part. So this is where you actually, you know, study your NCRT line by line, word by word, make your notes, mark your important points and, you know, just absorb or soak in whatever information is there in your NCRT. And, you know, you can make short notes of it or whatever you can. But underlining and all that is very important. What you feel important, just underline it, highlight it, etc. Okay. Now it all started when I had to go to my housewarming ceremony. I had to go to my native place. Okay. And this is where I thought I could take advantage of this. Because in my native place, there's no proper television. There's no forms of entertainment for me. There's just uh, a table, a study table. That's it. So what I did to take advantage of the situation was I'd taken only my chemistry books to my native place. I was obviously doing uh, physics and mathematics for the last four months and I was extremely interested in it and I wanted to do only physics and mathematics. So I essentially I forced myself only to do chemistry during this first 10 days. So uh, what I did was I, I took only my four NCRTs and my uh, previous question book. Only these five books and the NCRT solution book. I didn't use any other reference books, I didn't use J.D. Lee, I didn't use Opie Tandon, I didn't use any of these books. Only the four NCRTs and the previous year question book uh, from 2002 to 2019, that one. All the AIEEE questions and the JMA questions. Okay, so if this is what, how this helps is, this is essentially, you know, a form or, you know, a, you can say a type of dopamine detox. It is, it's obviously extremely difficult to do and how you can do it is obviously, for me it was much easier because I couldn't, like in my native place there was no entertainment, pretty much it was just eat, sleep, you know, get up, study and just eat again and sleep. So that, that was it. 
for you to you know get disciplined just just you can you have to give away your first your smartphones your laptops and obviously any other form of entertainment or pleasure in your room and just keep your four ncrts treat them as a bible and just just cram them in okay uh, it's obviously difficult but if you want a high score you have to you know sacrifice all these things so now i'll tell you i'll just show you my plan of you know what i uh, went through and obviously as you can see that there are some chapters missing and th these chapters i dealt with in the second phase of from 4th february okay so what it did was i essentially divided the day into four parts first part when i wake up and do the first chapter just line by line slow as slowly as i could you know as as much information as i could take it this was pretty much in the early morning from say 6 to 8 or 6 to 9 how like depends on how big the chapter is or how vague or depends on it some chapters are very small you could do it fast like redox reactions some type some chapters just don't finish like pre block elements you do the entire day it's still there and the second part of the day was during the you can say during the brunch time you can say after i ate my breakfast it was from you can say till 10 to 12 or 10 to 1 this is where i did my second chapter of the day and again just line by line slow reading underlining marking everything was there it's just proper absorption of the ncrt textbook and that is the most important thing in your chemistry preparation absorb your ncrt textbook you don't have to do any other reference book then after my lunch from you can say 3 to 5 or 3 to 6 what i did was the ncrt back exercise for the chapter which i did in the morning and during the brunch time just the ncrt back exercise what i was there i used to do, i did each and every question and i marked whatever question i didn't know or what i thought was important or what i thought was hard with a red pen with a star on it how this helped me was during the second phase when i revised again i could just glance over these questions and you know solve them again so that i don't mess up during the actual examination and then came the final part or from you can say the from the night part from 6:30 to 10 i did my previous year question book the 2002 to 2019 book and how i did this was i did yesterday's chapter today so what this essentially means is if i did say solid state and states of matter yesterday i would do the previous year question back today and the evening this helped me you know cement my knowledge even more so basically this is also like a revision it also helps you to retain more so the thing is if you do p block today and surface chemistry say you might forget it by today or you know by tomorrow morning but if you do the previous year question back tomorrow in the evening it help you to retain more and you know just it'll just help you to stay in your brain the concepts and whatever you learned okay so this is what i did during the first 10 days it was just proper absorption and you know proper note making proper reading of the ncrt textbook and obviously this why was so why it was so easy for me was i didn't have any distractions that's the most important part is you should not have any distractions during this phase that's why give your laptops away give your phone away because you know chemistry you don't need anyone to teach you because it's mostly just information information and information is even in, even in organic chemistry or physical chemistry it's just formulas uh, only in jee advanced do they you know it's it's more of you know organic chemistry is you need to you know actually draw the structures and mechanisms as part of i think from j main perspective only the 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 initial um, reaction mechanisms carbocation stability only that is not you know there in the ncrt textbook or else everything is directly from the ncrt book itself okay so you don't need any you know video lectures or someone helping you during these time because you you can you can you can even get both you can even get 100 percentile just by reading the ncrt textbook line by line so the important thing here or uh, you know the, the most important thing here is 
remove your distractions for these 10 days and just do chemistry just do so the, so this first phase carried on for 10 days and it was over by the 1st of february that was when i um, i returned to my hometown on the 2nd of february okay for so the first 10 days were done i was done cramming with cramming the hre textbook whatever i knew whatever chapters you know i liked because i did leave a few chapters like uh, biomolecules polymers equilibrium and chemistry in everyday life environment chemistry because i still didn't like these chapters and i wanted to find out a better way to do these chapters because there is just too much information and i used to forget it too regularly and this is where i come to the second phase of my preparation or which started from the 4th of february so i'd given myself two days break from the initial 10 days of uh, you know just chemistry 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 so second february and third february i didn't do chemistry okay now it's very important because now i had 20 days left and i just couldn't just just keep on doing chemistry the whole day because and then because then i was going to just miss out on physics and mathematics so that's when i started a new strategy for for the second phase this just involves nearly two and a half hours of your day for chemistry and this could completely skyrocket your preparation okay what you have to do in this phase is wake up at four o'clock in the morning that's it why i say four o'clock in the morning because that's when your brain is most attentive most active and th that is when you, you know you can retain more information and chemistry is all about retaining more information how effectively can you retain more information okay so you wake up at 4 and till 6 you do chemistry okay 4 to 6 you do chemistry the first hour you do one chapter and the second hour i did another chapter this is where i just went through the ncrt again so basically this was my second reading of the ncrt i had already done the first reading during the first phase so this was my second reading of the ncrt actually this wasn't more you know extremely detailed as my first reading but i went through the ncrt again uh, like i focused more on the places where i underlined where i marked as important etc okay now obviously you have noticed that there were there were some chapters missing like polymers biomolecules chemistry in everyday life equilibrium etc so these chapters I, I just found it to be extremely difficult because i couldn't do I, I just couldn't remember like i couldn't remember what all was there in these chapters if i did it today by by like three days i'll just forget everything so that's what that's why i thought that how can i you know just retain more of these chapters because these chapters are extremely important from a GMA point of view and also like if if you do these chapters you can answer the question in like five seconds so it also saves you a lot of time so what i did was from 6 to nearly say till 6 40 i did these three chapters every day what i mean by that is i'll show you what i actually did so for the first 10 minutes i did biomolecules i didn't do the entire chapter i just read i just read a little bit the second day i read more but i also visited the first part of the chapter which i which i had already done second part i did polymers the third 10 minutes i did chemistry in everyday life and the from 6 30 to 6 40 i did structures okay so how this helps is and you know how i'll tell you how i actually did it so ex example for the first day you learn uh, say the structure of histamine okay the second day you are supposed to learn the structure of say phenylzine okay so what you have to do is first day you learn histamine and second day you do phenylzine along with histamine you see histamine again and draw histamine once so the third day if you do say uh, symmetridine you do on the third day you draw uh, phenylzine symmetridine and your histamine so this helped me retain or you know just keep all the things in mind so extremely well it's, it's, I couldn't even, I can't even explain how well by the end of the, uh, or before the examination, how well these three chapters were in my mind. So suppose if I did, say, uh, 
I started I start off with carbohydrates. Class, second day I did classification of carbohydrates. Third day I did glucose. Fourth day I did reactions of glucose. So this doesn't mean that you do only these during these first 10 minutes. So suppose when I started with carbohydrates, I did carbohydrates for the first day. Second day I did classification of carbohydrates, but I also did carbohydrates again. The third day I did glucose, but I also did carbohydrates and classification of carbohydrates again. I just saw through it. Fourth day I did reactions of glucose. But I also saw the first three chapter for the first three subparts again. So every day I used to just wake up and just see these chapters again and again and again for 20 days. So by the time, or you can say by just two days before my examination, I was completely thorough with all with whatever concepts were there from these three chapters. Like I, I could draw everything like glycine, alanine. Glutamic acid, aspartic acid, it was all there in my mind. And why this worked so effectively is because of continuous revision. Because no one likes to do these chapters, you know, uh, on a whole. If you if you plan on doing chemistry in everyday life two days before the exam, it won't work. Just just leave the chapter. The only way to do chemistry in everyday life or you know chapters which require extreme cramming or mugging up is do it little by little, day by day. But yeah, so as you can see, I, I took 20 days for these three chapters alone, but it, I did only half an hour a day. So this is how I, I was able to, you know, just mug, 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 mug. And at the end, I was completely thorough with these chapters. And obviously the first two hours, you have to give it for revision and four to six. I mean, this revision is extremely important again, because what all questions or what all, yeah, what all questions you mark with your red pen during the first phase of preparation you have to revisit again you have to see and you know try to solve it again so 4 to 6 30 you're doing chemistry from there you're free you, you can do your mock test you can do your uh, physics and your mathematics for the entire day now what i also did was during the when suppose i had to go to sleep at 10 at 9 30 i took uh, I, I used to take my exemplar book and just give it a read for half an hour i just read my example book. This is obviously optional for you and uh, if you want to do it, you can do it because I, I, I didn't, you know, solve anything. I just read the questions and, you know, tried to take in how much ever I could. So this was my second phase of my preparation. <laughs>